Hello, welcome to part two of this introduction to LibreOffice Calc. In this part, we'll be looking at cell referencing, which is a really key part of doing calculations in a spreadsheet. You can use spreadsheets just to organize information, but the real point of spreadsheets is to do calculations, and especially repetitive calculations. So first, let's just get used to how to calculate things in cells. If you enter an equal sign as the first thing in a cell, then everything else in the cell will be a formula. In other words, it'll do a calculation. So I'm just going to say add two numbers, six plus five, say. And that works the way you would think. Multiplication, you use the star or asterisk. Division. Subtraction, of course, works just the way you would think. So that's all good and well. And of course, we can do far more complicated calculations than this. But the real point is cell referencing. So I've set up a few numbers over here with labels just so I can refer to them. So suppose I wanted to do x plus y, where x is 1 and y is 2. I don't have to enter the 1 and the 2. I could, for example, start with the equals so that I'm doing a calculation. And now I'm simply going to click the cell with the 1 and I'm going to click the cell with the 2. And you see that now what is in this cell that I've been filling out is equals b4 plus b5. And there you see it has added them. And similarly, I could multiply them. So I'm going to add, multiply, say, y times z. A useful feature when you're editing cells is that if you click into the input line, the cells referred to in this calculation get highlighted in colors so that you can tell what's going on. Now, what happens when I copy these cells and paste them somewhere else? So I'm going to take these two cells and I'm going to copy them and I'm going to paste them a few cells down. And you might expect to see 3 and 6 again, but you don't. So why is that? So if I click into this one and click the input line, you see that it's referring to these two empty cells. Look, the top one is B8, which is 1, 2, 3, 4 below B4, which was the original place referred to in that calculation. And I copied it, one, two, three, four cells down. So cell referencing is not to what's what you would call an absolute cell. It's a relative reference. So what this cell here is thinking of B4 as is it's really thinking over 3 to the left and up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, up 12. That's how it's thinking of it. And so when I copy it down here, it now looks down here. That can be very useful. Suppose I wanted very simply just to double x, y, and z then I could do 2 times b4 here. Then I could just copy that and paste it into both of these cells. And because the cell references are relative, each of them ends up referring to a different cell. This is why it's so useful to be able to do repeated calculations in spreadsheets because you can often set up one formula, copy it down into a number of other cells, but have each of them refer to different numbers that are being plugged into the calculation. The same thing happens if I copy and paste over to the right, say. Again, I'm getting zeros, and that's because instead of the original cells in the B column that these cells were referring to, they're now referring to the C column. 
So I'm going to leave it to you to figure out a few other things, which you'll answer in the lesson. One is how to do exponentiation, which is very useful. So for example, how do you square or cube a number? And the lesson will also ask you some questions to make sure that you've understood relative referencing.